Hey guys, welcome to day 134 of my carnivore journey. And of course, this is where I do a daily vlog where I let you know what I ate, how I felt, maybe even poop habits. <laughs> but I just try to do all this to help you get through your journey or if you want to join along, whatever it is. But I try to document it. So guys, welcome. Um, for those of you that's been following me, hey guys, how's it going? Um, day 134. So today I'm actually recording this at, a, at a, my normal sort of recording time. So I'm going to have it hopefully posted to you here in a little bit. Uh, today I had something different. I didn't have my one pounder. Um, so my wife wanted to cook a dinner a few days ago, but she decided to marinate um, some country ribs. So if, you, if you're not sure what a country rib is, basically think of ribs, but pretty much no bone. Um, pork ribs, basically. Pork country ribs. They do have fat on them. Um, fairly fatty at, at times. So um, you can almost think of it like pull apart meat. But my wife basically marinated them for about two days. Uh, and then she cooked them in the... Uh, like the pressure cooker, like the Instapot, and uh, which we have a Ninja one, and then um, finished them off in the oven with a little bit of broiling action just to kind of, you know, hit up the tops of them with a little bit of broiler stuff. But um, amazing. It was really good. Um, she tried to avoid using a lot of things that would be not good for carnivore, but you know, it was there probably some stuff in the marinades probably, but you know, like I said, guys, there's going to be times in life where, you know, you might go out to eat and maybe you just get meat, but the meat may have been cooked on a stove that maybe had some trace amounts of oils and things like that. It's okay to live your life. Now, if you're out there and you're just like, I don't care, I, I wouldn't eat it. If there's trace amounts of stuff or, or whatever, I'm not going to do that. Look, my wife's been very supportive when it comes to my diet this time around. And some of you know, the first time I tried carnivore over a year ago, there was a lot of miscommunication and she didn't understand. I didn't communicate it very well. And we just fought about it a lot. Now, back in November 27th, when I started, um, I had her support and, and communication and she knew I needed to change things for, for health, uh, for myself. So that's why divided households are really tough. It really is. And that's, that's where even you guys come in handy because honestly, like I said, there was a many times I, I may have fell back into the pressure of living in that divided household because every day, like, like even tonight, for example, um, my wife made like homemade black eyed peas. Everything was homemade, black eyed peas, baked beans. And I made homemade cornbread. Um, she made the country ribs, uh, macaroni salad, which was one of my childhood favorites. Cause she actually like the recipe stemmed from my grandma. And I, I made my wife macaroni salad she now originally it was made with tuna, like tuna, macaroni noodles, onion, celery, salt, pepper, mayonnaise. And, um, but my wife, when I met her and I made it for her, she loved it, but she was like, you know, I bet it would be even better with, with chicken. And we started making it with chicken, which was perfect because we ended up like getting to this phase where we didn't want tuna anymore. So then we started making our macaroni salad with um, two, uh, chicken instead of tuna. And we've been doing it ever since. And it's been amazing. And of course my wife did a little bit more tweaking on things, but all in all really good macaroni. So, so like all of these favorites of mine uh, or some of the, you know, my wife doesn't always get to cook like that. And when she does, she does a really good job, but I just had the ribs, guys. I didn't dip into the cornbread or, and, you know, my cornbread was one of my favorites too. Nice and buttery. You know, I used to put a ton of butter on it, you know, um, just so good, right? And it came out perfect looking, ton of butter. I didn't take one bite. 
um, I really had no desire to, to, to taste anything. You know, I really didn't. I don't think I, I didn't even taste the macaroni. I did take two macaroni noodles when she was cooking them. And I did take uh, a bite of that. Oh, and if you're wondering about my lighting going on, it's because my back light is not plugged in and my overhead light is on my front lights on. So it's all good. I just have this dual, uh, like dark side, light side, <laughs> you know, little duality here. I don't know. Anyways. Um, but, but yeah, so that's what dinner was about. Um, like I said, I just had ribs. I just had the meat and um, not a lot of broth or whatever, because we, we really, after we steam it, I help, I help her get everything onto like a, uh, like aluminum foil on a pan and we take it out of the juices, put it on the pan and stick it in the broiler for a little bit just to get a little bit of maybe searing on top, you know, that kind of thing. And then we eat it and it's really good, juicy. Um, like I said, just really good stuff. And then when we're done and we want to save the leftovers, we put it back in the broth and then save it. So, uh, but like I said, really good dinner, really happy. Um, and I'm, I'm satisfied. And the fat, a lot of the fat I got to eat on that, it's just, it melts in your mouth kind of fat. You know, it's just really easy to eat. There's no, um, like chewy gristle or anything. It's all just melting, like soft fat. It's really, uh, really good. So I ate as much as I could. And then my brain said, you're done. <laughs> like there was a limit. So, um, so the, the picture that you saw was um my first serving and then i had another two big ish chunks and i didn't even finish those um and then i picked out a few more little pieces when we we're putting them away so but then i just hit my limit it's like i couldn't even take one more bite kind of thing it looks like there's a good chance that um uh i'm gonna be on that podcast with dave uh so i'm excited so so those of you that are hoping to see me on the podcast with Dave. I'm really excited to, to we're, we're working out the details right now. Like he's living in, I think Japan, I think it is right. So we're working out the details and then, um, I don't know if I've got anything from you guys. I don't know if any of you guys remember if you, if you wanted to be on the podcast, like if you want me to have a podcast with you, um, let me know. So I did get one. I don't want to say your name because you probably, because I don't know if you're using like if your screen name. And uh, so I don't want to like throw out your real name or something just in case you're using like a screen name. But um, yes, I will be responding to you. You know who you are. Um, basically, if you sent me an email, I'm going to respond to you. Okay. So I, I got one. <laughs> which is fine. I, I didn't expect a bunch of people. A lot of times people aren't always anxious to get on camera and talk about their story or their experiences. Um, or else a lot of you probably would start YouTube channels. Um, but, uh, it looks like I have somebody willing to, so I will get back to that person. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And again, I'm going to try to keep my email in the description below. That way, if anybody has a story they want to get on here. Maybe after they watch this guy, right? Maybe after see him, maybe they'll, that'll break the ice. And maybe you guys will want to come on here and tell your story. But anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Um, oh man. Remember how I had like the carnivore pizza and um, like I had like some leftover pepperonis and like cheese, it's like the Colby cheese, like the next day. So that ton of cheese, blocked me up a little bit and I sat on the, on the pooper today and oh my God, it was like, I was given birth. Okay. I'm, I'm not lying. I'm, I'm trying to keep it as classy as I can, but, um, but yeah, it was, it was rough. So, um, but we got it. <laughs> we got it. And now hopefully tonight things will be regulating out. Um, so I'll keep you informed because you guys love to hear about my poop. <laughs> But no, I mean, you guys need to know these things because, again, if you follow along with what I do, then just keep that in mind that and I hadn't had that much cheese in a while. So my body was like, oh, crap, 
like maybe or or maybe it was more like oh not crap <laughs> uh but yeah so just keep that in mind whenever you go to, to change up your diet. And then, of course, this is the first time I've had this type of pork in whatever marinade and everything else. We'll, we'll see how my body reacts. You know, I'll let you know if I if I feel any weird weirdness or anything. But I think I should be able to handle it again. It was really tasty, though. <laughs> so um, Again, I, I feel like it's it's OK, though. It was meat, pork, and it was fatty. Um, so I'm, I was really happy. Uh, all right. Anyways, guys, I hope you all have a good night. Was there anything else I need to tell you? Oh, I did have like for lunch, I did have, um, uh, like a meat stick for lunch and like six pepperonis. Cause like I was getting really hungry. I knew dinner was going to be kind of late. So I had a meat stick at the store and I grabbed like six pepperonis that were in the, in the bag. I just kind of reached in, grabbed. And I was like, oh, and I just ate. It was like about six of them or so. Um, and that's it. That's what I had for for lunch. And then, like I said, and then the um, the the pork ribs for for dinner. And I don't even know how many it was, but you know, it was still great. So let's just let's just call it a roughly. Uh, I guess you could say probably about what fourteen ounces, maybe maybe just shy of a pound. Probably what I ate. To, well, you guys didn't see how much on the seconds, but I'd say probably probably about. Let's just go with fourteen ounces. So, all right, guys, you have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.